Hey folks, Captain Dave here in the Wolf Den. And I'm going to show you something that I've been working on for quite a while. You know, you got to always keep your ear to the industry, the tackle industry. <laughs> They're constantly making changes and it's not always for the good okay and instead of talking about ugly sticks today we're going to talk about something that doesn't get a lot of press and that is Shakespeare reels okay now let me go back in time I've done I don't know how many videos singing the praises of that reel right there. That is a Shimano Triton TR100G. That reel is the workhorse of all time as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you know, I used to think that Garcia Ambassadors were like the Timex, okay? Takes a lick in and keeps on ticking. Then all of a sudden, I don't know where I was. I must have been like Rip Van Winkle and fell, fell asleep for a couple years or something. But now, all of a sudden, you know, a Garcia Ambassador round reel is well over $100 for a decent one. Well over $100. Bucks. Well, Shimano is still making this one. And no, it's not exactly the same as something like a Garcia Ambassador. It can't get tricked out as far as a Garcia Ambassador. I've got numerous videos singing the praises of the, the TR100G Shimano, and also known as just the, the Level Wine Star Drag Triton. And many of the videos, I don't know, many of them are a, a select few. I always said, and a lot of my viewers agreed with me, that wouldn't it be great if Shimano, you know, made they make this one, which is a 100, they make a wide body one, which is a 200, wouldn't this be just through the roof if they made one called a 50? And take this reel and just make it more compact that would just be the ultimate well years ago and I'm I, I can't even guess how many years ago believe it or not Shakespeare made an all graphite reel level wind star drag and it was called the Arsenal A R G well, I was kind of late to the party. By the time that I really got to see them, hold one, you know, check them all out, read, you know, any reviews or anything on them, because they made a, uh, a trolling sort of version that was a little bigger and it had a stainless spool, you know, and they had all these different versions. Well, then they sort of got rid of that. I mean, they had the ARG 15, which was a small little reel, and then a 20 and a 30 or whatever. Then they got and wiped all that clean and came out with the same exact reel in a 20 and 30 size, and they called it the Tidewater, Shakespeare Tidewater. It also was a pretty cool reel for being a, a cheapy reel. It was all graphite, level wine, star drag, auto engaging, plus six to one gear ratio. So that is sort of the story about some graphite level wine star drags. In my opinion, because I've owned up to 21 of these and then I, I figured that was a little too many. So I sold off a few and I still got a whole bunch of them and I'm really glad I kept them. I've got um, some really older versions of these which are just 
built better than the newer ones. But I've got all these, but even a few of my viewers and I kind of chit-chatted back and forth. God, it would be so great if Shakespeare actually made this. Or not Shakespeare, Shimano made this smaller. Well, guess what? Now it's years and years later, and Shakespeare, <laughs> after going with the ARG reels, then they turn them into the Tidewater reels, they're introducing, back in the Shakespeare lineup of reels, uh, the basically the Arsenal ARG, which is half the size not half, but smaller and more compact than this reel, than the Shimano. And that's what we always wanted. But many of us missed the boat. Well, they brought it back out. Here it is. There it is. That is the Shakespeare Arsenal ARG-15, but now they have to rename it. I hope, I hope you're being able to keep up with this. Now they name it the ATS. I don't know what that means. Five to one gear ratio. Uh, bronze bushing on this side. Bearing on this side of the spool. And then of course bearings in the handle. Inside, right inside the star drag. So this reel now, which I bought a bunch of them because I am going to put them on reel on rods like this, which is my Wally's World Intracoastal Shakespeare, um, which is basically the same thing as the Ugly Stick Light, but without the stainless steel inserts in the guides. All right. So now here we go. We have what we always wanted. We have basically... A Shimano workhorse reel, star drag, star drag, level wind that's more compact than this one. Now, unless you're standing here, you can't really see a whole ton of difference, but it is more compact, lays a little closer to the reel seat. And the reason being is on this one, being the 5 to 1 gear ratio, they got this drop gear case right here. See how that lobes out? That's a, what they refer to as sort of a drop gear case. So, this reel is now what we always wanted. Or what I always wanted and many of my viewers always wanted. But instead of a Shimano, it's Shakespeare. Now, what does that mean? It means that it's cheap. I mean, these reels, I think, uh, Fisherman's Factory Outlet on eBay, you could pick them up for about, I think it was $32, $35, something like that. And you buy a bunch of them and you get free shipping. FedEx shipping. But I want you to take notice what I did. This comes with an extremely plain Jane handle. It doesn't come with a blue anodized handle. The minute I got them, and I'm sort of a little unhappy with my Daiwa Coastal Airs, low profile bait casting reels. Not that on a performance level, but on a... Uh, what it looks like level. Starting to get a little corrosion, green stuff growing on the chrome. It's got a chrome push button and the whole front of the dial aired has a chrome like piece in the front. It's chrome plastic. They can actually chrome plastic these days if you haven't noticed. So kind of, I don't know. And I wanted something I wanted something more like this, okay? Holds a ton, ton of braid, these reels. 
And this is a small one. This is the ATS-15, which is exactly the same reel as the years ago Arsenal ARG-15. Okay, 5 to 1 gear ratio, but what I did is I took the handles off my Daiwa Airs. I know people are probably they're like, how can you do that? Well, these are really nice handles. It jazzes the reel up a little bit with the blue anodizing. And I stuck these handles fit exactly. Daiwa, not all Daiwa handles, but it looks, seems to be that most Daiwa handles will fit on these Shakespeare reels. The minute I got them, took the handle off, opened the reel up, uh, cleaned the bearing out on this side, put in some really super light lube. I got this really light lube and in this bottle here is what's supplied with the Daiwa Ryogas. No heavy oils. You put a little three, four drops or whatever in your bearings with this, and I mean, no grease. You never grease bearings, okay? You're not, you're not, you're not packing a wheel, a trailer bearing. Light grease or light oil, I mean. So I put the light oil in here. It's got the bronze bushing. That's what makes the Shimano so great. It has no bearings on either side of the spool. It's just got bronze bushings, okay? So, what I ended up doing is I made this into sort of a little casting reel. And believe it or not, it casts pretty damn good. I can take it with a half ounce you know, slab spoon here, or even a little five eighths. I go, I mean, I'm casting 150 feet. 150 feet, probably no problem. Okay. So, it's... It's everything we ever wanted when you're a Shimano Triton 100G um, lover, but then you want something just a little more compact. And um, I mean, it has the low, it has the 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 um, lever to disengage, but what it also has is it auto engages. You go back, you flip the lever. Right? And it auto engages. Half turn of the handle. Maybe not even a half turn. About a quarter turn of the handle. Depends on sort of, I guess, where it's at. Cheap. Easy. You know, here's the deal. Have you no notice a little bit of a. I don't know, what do you call that? Notice a little bit of a theme here. Oh, and by the way, it's got aluminum spool. It's not a graphite spool. It's got aluminum spool on this Shakespeare. Um, notice a theme. Graphite reels in salt water. They're the ones that are the true workhorses. I mean, you can beat them up. You can, you can get covered in salt. There's no corrosion issues. And... Um, that's sort of what I really am working towards here, is getting away <coughs> from even the low-profile bait casters and getting into something that makes my life a lot easier. I mean, there's I've had reels that I use once. Got two, three guys on the boat. We go out, we use those reels. I come back. At the end of the day, I wipe them off with a damp cloth, put them up in the old uh, tackle vault. I go to use them again. The buttons are stick. The handle's all jammed just from the salt that gets on them. Okay. And there, believe it or not, there were some high dollar Shimano reels that would do that. And I won't name names, but mine just sold for $743 for six of them on eBay. I just got rid of them. I usually take all my reels apart, and like I said, I put in a little better oil. I clean grease out of the and of the bushing on this side. It had grease in the bushing. I lay a little light oil in that because what I'm looking for is 
a reel that's not a super caster to have better castability. And then I spool it up with 20, 25 pound braid, okay? And put it on a rod like this. And then we've got um, a nice little jigging rod. You know, what are we catching with these? Eh, maybe an oversized redfish, not a, not a bull red or anything, okay? Um, croakers, whiting, um, trout, a sheep's head, a black drum, anything that on this light rod that we could throw a, you know, a half ounce jig or um, a half ounce or three quarter ounce, you know, slab spoon or something. So for all of you who wanted to always find a reel that is smaller and a little like more compact okay then the old shimano 100 g's well there you are it's the shakespeare ats 15. readily available not in stores man you can't count on stores to have anything go to ebay go to ebay and, and get them go online and get them just plain and simple all right this you cannot beat this at all. I mean, this reel and an ugly stick go hand in hand. Now, you can trick out. I was talking to a fellow viewer last night. He actually called me just to tell me of how much he's loving his ugly stick catfish rods. You can take this reel and trick it out. And I'm thinking about doing that. I've got some that are semi-tricked out. All right. Here is the Shimano. This is one of the older ones. I really, really love this older version. And what I do is I put on a Shimano power handle. Now what you can do is on eBay again. This has a bronze bushing here on the side plate. And in a cup on this side, it's got a bronze bushing with little ears on it and I don't think that matters but on eBay you can get ceramic bearings for this both sides of this spool ceramic bearings Shimano power handle man let me tell you there you go now you just you didn't turn it away from being a workhorse because in all reality, ceramic bearings take no lube and not, a, not like huge amounts of maintenance because of course they don't, they don't rust up, okay? But they're still, ceramic bearings are the, the balls inside the stainless steel race and the outer part and everything. So it's still stainless steel. The ones that are 100%, the entire thing is ceramic the balls the outside everything they're just hugely expensive but for 27 dollars here coming out of miami at hp um bearings i think it is down in miami for 27 bucks you could soup this reel up i don't think they make bearings for this side of the of the shakespeare reel but you never know. You get the bearing for that Shimano, it might fit in here too. You never know. And then you could pop these bearings, you can put this bushing out of here and the bearing out of here. You might be able to put ceramic bearings in a Shakespeare reel. So, I mean, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? But there you go. A smaller, more compact reel from Shakespeare that you can trick out. Like I said, you can fit a Daiwa handle on it. Um, cast like a dream. I mean, you're not throwing eighth ounce jigs. You're just, you're probably not doing that. But something like this, uh, three eighths to half ounce lead head, you know, with a shrimp or a soft plastic on it. These cast pretty damn good because I was casting out in the yard. Now we'll have to see how good it is with people who 
aren't super bait casters. You know, the spinner crowd, the push button reel crowd. The good thing about it is, is when I'm out and I've got people who aren't bait casting, um, you know, aficionados like myself, we can throw the vertical jig because it weighs a lot. And believe it or not, I will park the boat, anchor up, put us right in a spot where all they have to do is just drop it over the side and then back bounce it behind the boat and bring it in, drop it, vertical jig it, back bounce it behind the boat. So I got that all covered. I could take somebody who's never thrown a baitcaster before in their life and I could have them working one all day long. So <coughs> that's some interesting news to summarize how Shakespeare had this cool little reel out there years ago called the ARG-15. It went away. They made these big, clumsier, you know, like big reels because they think everybody, you know, uh, in salt water should end up using one of their tide waters or something. And the catfish, catfishmen just love those things from what I always understood. Now, all of a sudden, they're bringing the exact same reel back with a new name, ATS-15. And what is it? It's a more compact, little higher speed version than the workhorse of all time, which is the Shimano 100 and 200G. This is a 4.3 to 1. So this is still slower than the Shakespeare. So I just wanted to let everybody know I'm sort of excited. I got FedEx on Monday. This is Friday. I got FedEx delivering four more Shakespeare uh, ATS 15s. I'm going to be putting them on these intercoastal uh, ugly stick lights, basically. So I'm bringing my tackle around. I'm trying to phase out of the low profile, even though they worked, very corrosion, what would you say, um, not, they're, they're just sub subjected to a lot of corrosion, uh, okay, or have, or can be, because they're light, they're light, delicate, you know, low profile bait casting reels, and I'm trying to make my life easier. By going to all graphite reels, that still will get the job done. So, whew, that was a mouthful. I hope you all got it. I mean, what I was trying to portray here. Years ago, or not years ago, but several videos ago, we were talking about that. Jeez, if Shimano just, they made the, the 200G Triton, the 100G Triton. And if they only made the 50, if they made a 50, oh, we'd just be so happy. We'd have small, medium, and large. Well, Shimano ain't going to do that anytime soon. So the moral of the story is I'm falling back to Shakespeare, believe it or not. And I have to admit, that's the first Shakespeare reels I've ever owned. I am Shakespeare ugly stick. Cut me and I bleed ugly stick. But that's the first Shakespeare reels I've ever owned, and we'll see how they work. And you know, it almost doesn't matter um, how long they last. I mean, if, if you know, you get a couple years out of them, a couple seasons or whatever, that'd be great because they're not expensive. They're not expensive, and it's you know, when you got kids on the boat, things like that, it's tough to give <laughs> hand them some hundred dollar or even these right here. These Shimano TRN or TR 100 G's are now up to $65, even on eBay. Brand new. And that's not counting shipping. So these reels are going. I bought my first ones for 48 bucks years ago. So boop, 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 boop. they're going up and up and up. All right. So. Thanks for watching. I hope that was a little bit educational. Hope you got a little bit of an insight on graphite level line star drag reels that are 
not going to break the bank. So guess what? You buy two or three of them. Or like me, six of them. Thanks for watching.